happy Father's Day, everyone. It is Father's Day here in the States, and I am taking the baby out for a little run at the trail at Back Bay in Newport, and I am just so, so tired and sleep deprived. I feel like a pale tracing of myself, like I'm not quite Hannah. The baby's just been waking up a lot during the night, and I don't even know what happens. <laughs> like, people are like, so how many times do you wake up? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just so tired. I haven't had a full night's sleep since before pregnancy, because pregnancy, it's it's really hard to sleep through the night. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty tired, and Eric has been helping me out a lot in the mornings, taking the baby for a while just so I can, like, get a little extra Z's. And he has not had a chance to sleep in in a while, and he he's the kind of guy who loves to sleep in. I'm not much of a sleeping in type. I just want a full night's sleep. Eric wants to like sleep for 12 hours. Like he's just like, let me sleep as long as I, as long as possible. So I'm taking the baby. He doesn't even know that I left. He's still sleeping. For the drive over, I did bring some snacks. I have some blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. These are like some of the best berries I've ever had. Got them from the farmer's market. Wow, so plump and juicy. And some grapes. Probably have these on the way and on the way back. And then I will be very hungry and need a big breakfast. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> He's just staring at me like, Mom, who are you talking to? There is no one else in the car. We are at that stage in babyhood where like you're timing your naps perfectly so that he doesn't nap in the car on the way to the trailhead, but he does nap in the stroller when you're already there. I'm pushing it pretty close because vlogging throws everything off. Do not fall asleep in the car, my bub. My, my little bub. No, oh my gosh, you look so sleepy. Okay, what are we gonna do? I'll talk to you the whole time, okay? <laughs> Ready to go for our run. I have my bruised finger and two sports bras. It's gonna be great. For anyone wondering, we have the Bob jogger stroller and we got the super fancy one so that we can take it on trails. So we love running on trails and it is so heavy duty. It's such a heavy stroller. Oh my goodness. But um, I love it and it like works really well and it is definitely an expensive item but you can find a lot of used ones on line like offer up and Facebook marketplace and stuff they're they're pretty great all right let's go for a run we're floating up floating high up on a feeling whoa, whoa, whoa. above the clouds where there's no rooftop no ceiling whoa, whoa, whoa. into a place where the light can this is seven All I want, all I need is life. Hey, um, Cosmo and I just finished walking back bay. Can we come over for a sec? You're just walking back bay? Sure, you and Cos? Yeah. Yep, come on over. Okay, bye. We're going to my parents' house. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you. By the way, on the way here, I'm so desperate for ideas to get my baby to sleep. I've been listening to the No Cry Sleep Solution. I just started it, and it's really good so far. I, I'm really hesitant to sleep train. I don't think I could emotionally handle it. Most of the people I know sleep train. Oh, he got your glasses. Okay, there, Jesus. He's very fast. <laughs> if anyone has any ideas for getting a baby to sleep without the cry it out method, let me know. I cannot wait for that first night where I get a full eight or nine hours of sleep. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. We are on a very special mission, but first, I must pee. My dad has very expensive hobbies. His new hobby is records, which you know, it might stop there, just like getting a bunch of records, but he's been really into this record cleaner that he just bought, and he's gonna show me how it works. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Do it. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. This is the thing about my dad. He loves getting into these hobbies and he goes full in. He does not halfway do anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so intense. How important is it to clean a record? Cute. Most noise from records is not caused by scratches. It's caused by static electricity and dust. 
in the grooves, which are only 20 microns wide, if you can believe that. So this thing goes on reverse like this, and you can really clean it. You reminds me of like the first time I shaved my legs. Because I was 13, and I was so excited to shave my legs. I shaved them twice in one day. <laughs> So we are looking at scrapbooks because I really want to do a Father's Day post about my dad and I want to get a really cute old photo of him and me. Let's find a very cute picture from the 80s or 90s of you and me, Dad. You ready? It can't get better than this. No, 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 no. It can't get better than this. That is Cosmo. That's like... That's pretty much what Cosmo looks like. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> That's me! That's me, baby! We are going to make a Father's Day smoothie, which is pretty much just like a regular smoothie, with bananas and orange juice and berries. And focus on me. Gosh dang it. You're so cute. What are you doing? You're playing with dad dad? What time is your dad coming over? idea. We should show everyone the bookcase. For Father's Day, because Eric does so much for our family, he created this gorgeous built-in bookcase and I love it so much. It brings the whole room together. I just think it's so beautiful. Let's show people. We finally have the bookcase installed. I really wanted a built-in bookcase with, what is this called? Pre-finished plywood? Pre-finished plywood and um, some people were second guessing my choice. We just have a lot of wood going on. We got the wooden floors, we have this stained bookcase. This is a piece of the old bookcase that Eric made me when we got married. We have our chairs and of course the wood trim along the windows. If you guys remember about three years ago, I went to France and I stayed with some folks and I just you know, stayed with a bunch of you guys. You guys said, I live in France, I would love to host you and I took advantage of that and it was so awesome. I met so many amazing people and I stayed with Alex and Didier with their two boys. This was in Toulouse and I was so inspired by their apartment. Their apartment was like the sexiest, 
artsiest French apartment I've ever seen. It was so beautiful and I just really, I don't know, it just had great vibes. I just loved it so much. It had like a telescope and a record player and this gorgeous bookcase and I really wanted to emulate their bookcase. I was so inspired by it and I just showed Eric the picture and he's like, you got it and he did it for me and I'm just so grateful. And lumber is actually like very expensive right now, but um, if it weren't for the crazy prices for lumber, this wouldn't be that expensive of a bookcase. We purchased some baskets and a box from West Elm, designed the bookcase to go around the baskets and the, and the box, so we have some storage there, and then we made this lower part a little bit longer, um, or, or deeper, yeah, deeper, to fit the records. So we have um, some space for records too. Cosmo made this card, and his writing is way better than mine. I want to be clear, your interpretation of his writing is better than your writing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the end. There's a um, commercial that Eric and I used to always make fun of before we had the baby. It's a um, Postmates or DoorDash. Fresh and easy. Keep it fresh. Instacart, Instacart commercial, and they're trying to get their baby to fall asleep, and the girl, cause or the woman goes up to the man and he, she hugs him and she goes, he's finally asleep. <laughs> and we used to always make fun of it, but now that we had the baby, we like relate. We relate to that commercial so much. Ready for the porch? Ooh, it's a little bright. We're gonna go to the park. Um, Eric's dad is here, and we're gonna take Cosmo on the swing. Eric, I have a confession. I've already taken him on a slide. I, I know. Why you, oh, I know why you said it on camera. I can't get mad at you. You can't kill me. Yeah, you can't get mad at her. Not on camera. It makes for a better show. <laughs> Is that your phone or? Yeah, I'm oh. taking a video. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 